sorry I didn't take your order before. I was very busy. Well, it's not an order we have now. It's Travis, it's a, uh, it's a question. That's okay, Joey. Why don't you sit down and have a chat with him? Everything will be okay. I kept my promise. Thank you. Jody, you are the one that's been following me around, aren't you? Yes. Can you tell me why? I just wanted to find out what you were like. What for? Because... I don't know. Was well, it because my wife is a newscaster and she's on TV? No, no, it's not because of that. Well, why then? Because you're my sister. I'm your what? Now, wait a minute. Do you mean in, in the women's lib sense of the word? Or are you talking about flesh and blood? I guess half-sister is the right term for it. But it's flesh and blood, all right. I know you never knew about me. There was no reason why you should. <laughs> Not know about my own sister? There's no one to tell you, I guess. Our father's dead. And my mother never wanted anything to do with your side of the family. Our father. Benjamin Travis. Night is brought to you by. That's him, isn't it? Yeah, that's him. And the woman he has his arms around. That's my mother. So it looks like your father. Oh, it's my father. But I don't know the woman. Never seen her before. But what is your mother's name? She calls herself Billy Lorraine. She calls herself? What do you mean? Well, it's a legal name, I guess. I just don't think she was born with it. She's an actress, or she used to be. But please don't look at me like that. I'm telling you the truth. Oh, oh, I, I, I don't think you're lying, Jody. I... Is your mother still alive? Yes, she's alive. So if you want any more details about how we became half-sisters, you could always look her up. Personally, I... I don't think you'd enjoy the experience. Let's try to make some sense out of this. Uh, how, how old are you? Eighteen. Eighteen. Well, it was uh, 20 years ago when my uh, mother and father separated for the first time. I knew that there was another woman involved. I'm not saying my mother was the only woman. But she was one of them, that's for sure. They were together for about six years. When I was four or five, he left her for good. Did they ever get married? How could they? He was already married. Well, you said your last name was Travis. Well, isn't it customary to take your father's last name? I couldn't call myself Jody Lorraine. I didn't even like the name. Jody, I, I'm sorry if, if I seem a little bit dazed by this. I'm sure that you can understand why. There, there were family rumors. I, I heard them when I was a little girl. I don't know. Do you know anything about our family history? Yeah, I know everything. I know that my father, our father, was some kind of a criminal. That he was really sent to prison before he died. Oh, God, I can't tell you how that pleased my mother. Oh, really? Look, you don't have to worry, either one of you. I didn't come to Monticello to claim the family fortune. That's good, because there isn't any. Well, why'd you come here? What's the, what's the attraction? I had to leave Chicago. I was stifling there. It was like beating my head up against a stone wall. Or maybe I should say my feet up against a stone floor. Well, what do you mean? I was a dancer. 
a dancer who wasn't allowed to dance. I could barely get an audition. Look, I have to go. I have a job. No, no, you, you, you can't. We have to talk about this. That's up to you now, I guess. You may be my sister. But uh, I'm not really anything to you. To tell you that nobody's going to know that you told me that Draper had an autopsy. We've been over this a thousand times. Nobody will know. They'll know. They'll know. They'll, they'll just take one look at me and they'll know. Maybe I can take my vacation. Nice long one. Oh, my God. Tomorrow morning. What about tomorrow morning? Tomorrow morning i got to meet with Logan in his office. How am I going to face him, huh? What if he asks me what I did last night? What, what am I going to tell him? Tell him you had a date with his wife. Oh, yeah. you will love that. Did I tell him I was coming here? Yeah, I did. About the custody suit. Oh, I didn't, man. I can't remember. I'm in no condition to remember anything. Oh, what's the difference? Logan will know. He'll know. He'll just look at me and he'll know I'm the one that spilled the beans. Cliff, don't be so stupid. Hey, look, Logan will kill me when he finds out. Worse than that, Mike Carl fire me. Now, look, you gotta promise me you won't tell a soul about this. Oh, sure. Oh, well, you'll never keep that promise. <laughs> At least, please, don't tell anyone that you know who told you. Uh, Cliff. Look, come on. You gotta swear to me you're not gonna tell anyone who told you. Cliff. Do you have a Bible around here? Cliff, who are you going? Oh, come on, do you have a Bible around here? Oh, I'm not leaving here until you promise me you're not gonna tell who. Come on. Now, raise your hand. No. Raise your right hand. Come on, I swear. I swear. I swear on my mother's life. Come on, I swear on my mother's life. I swear on my mother's life. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Cliff. It's just that you don't know how funny that is. Okay. Good night. I uh, have a heavy day. All right. Now I'm going to find out if this is true. Well, you better dial 911. No, I need a policeman and I want it to be you, Derek. Raven. Hello. It's a little late for social calls. Are you in bed? Practically. Hello? Yes, Raven, I'm alone. Oh, Carl. I don't even have a babysitter. Well, I guess we'll just have to talk nasty over the phone. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. You wouldn't be calling me at this hour unless you wanted something from me. What is it? You are the most suspicious man I've ever met, but you're also the sexiest and you're also right. I, uh, have wanted to hear your voice all night, and so I just found an excuse to call you. I'm listening. Well, you see, I heard a little rumor, and I thought perhaps you might know something about it. What rumor was that? That Draper Scott is still alive. <laughs> Where did you hear such a thing as that? I have a very good source. Look, I know there was an autopsy, so don't try to deny anything cheapy. Now, look, whatever you heard was obviously a gross distortion and exaggeration of the facts. Now... There may have been some question about the identification of the corpse. So oh, it's true, it's true. He may still be alive. Damn you, Raven, you're a hassle. Look, there's at least a half a dozen bodies unaccounted for. Scott's obviously one of them. Is it also true that Logan knows about it and he won't tell April? You can't tell her anything. Not without raising a lot of pointless hopes. And don't you go spreading any rumors around either. Do you understand me? Admit the truth, it's more than a rumor. Logan just doesn't want to say anything because he doesn't want to destroy his betting romance. Mm. I don't want to talk about this matter anymore. And if you take my advice, neither will you. All right, all right. I know he's not in love with a little bleach blonde, but I know that he needs her for his custody battle. And he... Now, look, I don't know what you think you heard. But wherever it is, drop it. Could you hold on for a second? I have to answer the door. Quiet. <laughs> Can't you take no for an answer? You're not in a position anymore, Raven, to say no.
Don't worry about it. We'll get our act together. But with Miracle Whip on my top, the great taste just won't stop. I'm a hamburger that's so deliciously grand. I'm a grand hamburger. With Miracle Whip Pop Craft. Home. Elizabeth here is one of the most sensational tap dancers in the continental United States. Barry's talking fast. Will you excuse us? I'll just get oh, a little bit settled. Oh, my the last three months alimony. But not fast enough. Alimony. Ryan's Hope. Tomorrow on ABC. Oh.